Hola, muy buenas a todos Aquí estamos con el próximo capítulo de Metal Gear Solid 4 Y vamos a, a seguir por aquí Por donde nos habíamos quedado Vamos a ver Vamos a subir por aquí arriba A ver qué hay ¡Qué mierda! ¡Qué mierda! ¿Era una trampa eso o qué? A ver, ¿qué pasa aquí? Bueno, después de la guerra que había en el anterior capítulo Que intentemos pasar sigilo sigilosamente Pero no pudimos ver, Por aquí arriba parece que no hay nada Pero qué mierda. ¿Hay un de trampas o qué? Nada aturdido. Vale. Y ya no me quedaban raciones. No. Las gasté todas en el anterior capítulo. Eso es una mina. Creo recordar que se podían desactivar. Ah, vale. Creo que era así. Sí. Pero... Bueno, por aquí parece que no hay nadie. Solo hay minas y cosas de esas. Vamos a ver, no hay nadie. A ver qué podía ir. Hostia. Vamos a ver. ¡Joder! Que susto me ha pegado, me cago en la put. Sí, pues. Me ha reventado. Tallarines. ¿Los puedo comer o qué? Madre mía. Bueno, a ver cómo pasamos por aquí. Sí, yo también la detecto. Para provocar la detonación. Vale. Es un aparato de control remoto y detecto pequeños astros de gas tóxico volcán. No quiero que te haya dormido, así que ten cuidado. Vale. Bueno. Joder. Snake, are you all right? Snake. Snake. Bueno, va, vamos a ver por dónde se continúa. Bueno, por aquí. Bueno, ahora está otra vez eso. Pues voy a ir agachado. A ver si se puede coger. Bueno, ya me sé dónde están todos, así que vamos con ventaja. Ahí la mina. Y, y lo que tenía antes ya lo tengo. Vamos a ver. En armas. No, oh, oh. En objetos. A ver. Pues no, he perdido todo. Lo que haya cogido. Vale, venga, va. Vale. vale. Eh, eh. Vamos en ahí. Por aquí
non nena. Snake, I'm detecting a trap in your vicinity. It's a bomb that uses an infrared sensor as a detonation trigger. It's a remote control device, and I'm detecting slight traces of volatile sleep gas. Trigger it and you'll be knocked out. So be careful. Ahora ahora aquí qué hacer? I'm picking up a faint radio signal from that thing. I'm guessing it might be transmitting its operating status in real time. I'd leave those sensors alone if I were you. No way like it. A ver. Vamos a ir por abajo. Ah, no, yo puedo subir más. Pues vamos a subir, ¿no? Vamos a presionar este, este piso. Quito más munición. Gestionando esto. Aquí por aquí. Mirando el suelo. No voy a ver una Klimur por ahí. ¡Oh! ¡Oh! ¡Mierda! Mira que lo sabía. Ah, nos han quitado ya un cacho de vida. Puta clean. ¿Eso es otra? Sí. No. ¿Es un ascensor? A ver. Una ración, bien. Eh, no se puede. pegando un lío Por ahí no he ido no lo he cogido ¿Eh? vale hay una pequeña curva ahí eso es que hay alguien una rata vamos a ver dónde está está por ahí Pero aún está lejos. Bueno, hemos llegado a ver aquí, ¿qué pasa? Entrando en un cuarto. Vale. ¡Oh! ¡Drop your weapon! El que vimos en el, en el cubo ese que estaba cagando. Drop your weapon. All right. Here. Easy now. Don't move. You haven't even taken the safety off, rookie. Careful. I'm no rookie. I'm a ten-year vet. How the hell did you ever survive? 
five, ten years. Don't move. CQC. Real big boss, huh? I wouldn't try anything funny if I were you. Fox. Snake. Bueno. Snake. Bueno, es Meryl. Meryl. Is that you? Bueno, no sé si la recordaréis. Eh, esta chica eh, salió en el primer juego de, de Snake, de Metal Gear Solid 1. Y Snake como está envejeciendo muy rápido. Y como dice. No, no lo reconocía. And you must be the inspector sent by the UN. Akiba! Akiba! Uh, uh, Commander! Sorry. This is Rat Patrol Team Zero One. We're with the CID, one of the bodies investigating PMC activity. First hounds, now rats. Here, you can have this back. Una vez que nos cuenta Mail. It's been four days since Liquid arrived in the area. And since then, this woman's been with him. She doesn't look like a combatant, probably some kind of advisor, maybe a scientist. So one unit. Why? Something wrong with that? Here, I'll introduce you to the team. That's Ed, our radio man and sniper. Wanna just say? Sleeping giant is John. Come here. Don't stand behind him. He hates it when people go around his back. Finally. Johnny. Everybody just calls him Akiba. Commander, I've finished installing the sensors. <sighs> okay, Akiba. Anyway. You're all grown up. Maybe it's because someone taught me well. A certain legendary hero who suddenly disappeared. You quit the unit. Me? Huh. I never gave up on you. Or on Foxhound. Back then, I just wanted you to accept me. I wanted you to turn around and see who I was. 
Bueno, recordando viejos tiempos. So, what are you here for? Threat assessment. The PMCs. Really? Because I heard a rumor there's an assassin out there targeting their leader. Now that's some rumor. I'm only here because the UN wants me to assess the impact and effects of PMCs on their refugee protection efforts. That's all? More than enough for a retired vet like me. I know he's plotting an insurrection, but as long as AT Security's system is in place, there's no way he'll succeed. How can you be so sure? Bueno, el que intenta asesinar al, al, al líder de PMC, me parece que es Liquid. Mm. Each individual soldier has been fully ID tagged with nano machines injected into their bodies for that purpose. The nano machines keep track of the soldiers and their real time personal data 24 hours a day. They monitor each man's position, movement speed, reserve ammo, firing accuracy, wounds, rations, water intake and supply, sweat, blood pressure and sugar levels, oxygen, all the data gathered on body condition, on sensory organ data showing pain and fear, data on every internal response within the body. All of it is collected by an AI at the system's core. This data is monitored at HQ to enable command to make quicker, more precise, more rational decisions. It also enables crisis management for each individual soldier. It's being used by the U.S. military, by state armies and allied countries, by PMCs. Even police agencies are starting to adopt it. Unless they agree to implement the system, PMCs aren't permitted to send troops anywhere. You've got these system nanomachines and you too. Of course. Our unit plays by the rules, the same as everybody else. It was creepy at first, knowing you're being watched 24-7, but I've gotten used to it. It gives us a lot of advantages in the field, too. We get a clearer picture of what's going on around us, so there's less confusion during missions. And our nanomachines communicate with each other, making teamwork a lot smoother. And that's not all the system does for us. It's also a security guarantee against the PMCs. Security guarantee. That's right. The PMCs are combat groups without states or ideologies. They're not fighting out of nationalism or for a cause. They don't care why the war is being fought. They're just bodies fighting on someone else's behalf. They're mercenaries, a commodity. So it's easy to imagine them betraying their clients by joining the enemy or refusing to fight or committing humanitarian atrocities. To keep these things in check, bueno, nos está aquí una charla, pero, pero buena, buena. Without the proper system ID, it's true for every piece of equipment out there. So even if the PMCs tried to mount a terrorist attack or coup d'état, their weapons and equipment would automatically be locked out. They wouldn't be able to move, attack, or engage in combat of any kind. And there's more. All the data on their position, personnel, and combat strength is leaked to us by the nanomachines. Even if they managed to circumvent the system by getting the nanomachines out of each soldier's body, they'd be losing their IDs in the process, so they couldn't use their weapons. And the Patriots are behind this. None of you may know. What are you talking about? Never mind. So this system is foolproof, huh? Completely. They call it SOP. Sons of the Patriots. The AI that controls it is a tightly guarded secret, both at Arms Tech Security, where it was developed, and at the Pentagon. There's no way a third party could get control of it. I just met a guy who said he could launder ID guns. The system does have holes. There can't be more than a few hundred of those gun launderers. It's just a grassroots movement. It's not like it can affect the entire PMC war machine. Anyway. Liquid would have had to register as a PMC in the system to assemble an army that massive. His PMCs might even exceed the U.S. military in terms of numbers, but as long as they're registered, their soldiers' activities are constantly being monitored. 
So long as the U.S. responds immediately when Liquid makes his move, we can take them down by force. By force, huh? When Arsok heard about Liquid's plans, they sent us to sniff around the PMCs. Even with this SOP keeping an eye on things, there are always trouble spots to deal with in the field. Disorderly conduct, disobeying orders, contract violations. We act as backup for the system by monitoring the soldiers. PMC inspections are always carried out on the battlefield. That's why we're authorized to carry and use weapons. We've lost five inspection teams in the past few months alone. They were all undercover inside Liquid's PMCs. Then, if you got caught... We'd be exterminated like rats. But we're smarter than that. We've been mingling with the PMCs. And after three months of searching God knows how many battlefields... Bueno, en cuanto finalice este vídeo, eh, vamos a terminar ya. Bueno, ahí está. Espero que os haya gustado y hasta la próxima.